Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun, a gas giant with no solid surface. From Earth, it appears a satin smooth blue ball. But get up close, and you'll see that this frigid world has some of the oddest quirks found anywhere in the solar system. Welcome to Space School. The planet Uranus can be seen with the naked eye, but ancient astronomers were convinced it was a star or maybe a comet. And this bluish light in the night sky wasn't recognized as a planet until 1781. This mysterious world is now named for the father of Saturn, the Greek god of the skies. Uranus orbits the sun from a distance of 1.78 billion miles. It follows an elliptical path taking 84 Earth years to complete its journey around the Sun. The third largest planet in the solar system, it measures four times the size of Earth. Rotating much faster than Earth, a day on Uranus is only 18 hours long. Strangely, despite its large size, the planet's gravity is just a little over 90% of Earth's. So a 100-pound Earthling would weigh only 91 pounds there. But that's enough gravity to keep this planet's 27 moons in orbit. Long thought to be a quiet, cold, even somewhat dull planet, recent images have shown just the opposite. The Hubble Space Telescope has revealed a world sometimes gripped by violent winds and persistent thunderstorms. These seasonal storms can produce winds that exceed 300 miles per hour, packing winds twice as powerful as a Category 5 hurricane, the deadliest here on Earth. Even more incredible, a single storm can cover an area the size of the continental United States. Every 42 years, the dark side of the planet comes into the light. This change in temperature is what causes such violent storms. Uranus has no solid outer surface. Like Jupiter and Saturn, it's called a gas giant, meaning the surface is made up almost entirely of gas. But its core is solid and rocky, and being so far from the sun, that core is surrounded by a mantle of ice. So this planet is also referred to as an ice giant. The planet's huge size means there is intense pressure on its core. And all that pressure on the carbon-bearing materials found at the planet's epicenter means one thing, the formation of diamonds. Scientists theorize that Uranus's core contains trillions of these precious stones. Thick layers of ice surround Uranus's core. But this ice is not just made up of water. Methane and ammonia also form part of the mix. Hydrogen and helium gas make up the planet's outer layer. There may even be an ocean of liquid water, replete with dissolved ammonia beneath the shrouded cloudy surface. Uranus's thick atmosphere makes the planet appear smooth and featureless. That's because from Earth, our view is blocked by a permanent haze. We are seeing the atmosphere, not the surface. Methane, just 2% of Uranus's atmosphere, absorbs red light, making the planet appear blue. One of the strangest things about Uranus is the angle of its rotation. The planet appears to be tipped on its side more than 90 degrees. On this planet, the equator runs from north to south. This odd orientation is perhaps the result of a long ago collision with a huge asteroid, meteorite, or even another planet. Rotating sideways also makes for unusual seasons. The North Pole, for example, only receives sunlight one half of the year. But inhabiting a zone so far from the sun, Uranus's temperature is very little from summer to winter, averaging around minus 350 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. Like Saturn, Uranus has rings, at least a few of which may be the dust of a moon long ago shattered in a collision. Unlike Saturn, though, the rings of Uranus were not discovered until 1977. And oddly, these rings run horizontally from top to bottom, north to south. Uranus's rings vary in color, but the outermost is blue, indicating the presence of water ice. Yet another example that water, a key to life, is not all that rare in the solar system after all. NASA's Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have ever visited Uranus. Launched in August 1977, it took almost nine years until January of 1986 to reach the planet. The spacecraft studied this world's unique tilt, its moons and rings, before moving on to Uranus's neighbor, Neptune. 
Voyager 2 is now continuing its journey into interstellar space. But NASA is planning future missions that will help us learn more about this quirky, often misunderstood blue-green planet. This is Space School, signing off. Class dismissed.